Theme song. Bienvenue chez chez Solid. Chez chez Solid. <laughs> um, we are back with Recipe for Disaster. It is the third episode of our uh, uh, sandbox run here, and this is going to be a fun one because, as you can see, things have been going well in the restaurant. As of that last episode, all our management woes are basically solved. I honestly think it comes down to just doubles. Have doubles of everything. Or singles and then a few tables to get started. So then it could be you and uh, like one cook, one cleaner, one server or something. I don't know. But you're not gonna you're not gonna feed that many people. So this is a small enough crew able to feed all of these folks, and you'll actually find in our objectives, we already have some of our profits for a tier four restaurant. We already have some of our reviews for a tier three. We just need to start seeding some folks. So I think we can get this trophy easily today. And to do that, what we need to do is talk about the future of this restaurant. I want to figure out like where the entrance is going to be. I think the traditional entrance has been kind of around here. So what I want to do, here's the here's my, basically my my future plans for the restaurant. I got them drawn here on a piece of paper, which you can probably hear me shuffling around. Oh yeah, okay. It's not as it's a bit wider than. Okay. So, <laughs> the the general plan here is a kitchen right here. A section of seating here and here on either side, sort of a front lobby entrance area so the, the, the serving window will be around here. Some privacy screens, of course, throughout to add more classiness. And then also maybe some outdoor seating uh, as well. Now, where is that going to be? I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure where the outdoor seating wants to be. I think maybe it, it would be nice if it wasn't up against the street. I think it'd be nice if it was like maybe the entrance was a little recessed here. But I'm not sure how much space I'm going to actually have to do that and all my restaurant dreams. Maybe the restaurant could be a little more flat uh, and then serve two sides. But basically, I just wanted the restaurant to divide uh, this place up into two different sides and then have different sections, basically, with washrooms kind of around here and then the entrance lobby. Maybe what we could do is the entrance is here. Then there's an outdoor seating section here on either side of the front or something and then restaurant at the back. Okay, well, now those are future dreams because the current dreams are we need to spend $5,000 but not ruin ourselves. So I don't want to make a bunch of uh, choices in terms of tables and give those all to these new servers we have to hire. I basically want to like get a running restaurant that feels really good, but then bring people in as we find good ones, not as we, as we need them because we're desperate. Okay, I kind of need to count... Uh, build wall. Does this count at all for me? No, it doesn't. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this this way, the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, this is why you guys are here. Uh, never mind. I'm gonna do this uh, offline. One second. Okay, there we go. I measured it. This is the exact center point of the restaurant. Now, what I'd like to do is build. I think this looks nice. Like one, two, three, four tiles, and then a, this would be a center aisle of uh, cooking and things like that, and then storage down the sides, just like we talked about in the last episode. So if I was going to do that I would have my uh, okay let's go like here so I'd have my two my cooking aisle here then a walking aisle on either side of two so actually what is this this is uh, one two three four basically four on either side including the cooking stuff so this is going to be one two three four okay, we'll go uh, here just so I have the measurement one, two, three, four. Yes, on either side. One, two, three, and four. Okay. So this is the general uh, width of the of our late game restaurant, our late game kitchen, which we have obviously, you know, won't be building here today. I don't, you know, it's we already have, we're already running low on money here. Okay, and there's the center line. So that's going to be really nice and symmetrical. It's just like, I just want to do it today. I just want symmetry in my life. So this restaurant here, I mean, that even looks, looks pretty big. Like we might not need to go that big with it. But if we do go this large with our kitchen, what is that going to leave us? Because I'd like to have bathrooms. So there's a little bit of lobby space here. Oh, no, we, we actually need, yeah, this order pickup area. So the bathrooms would actually have to be like this. I think this is going to work. I think there's plenty of room here uh, for all of our dreams and desires. Okay, so this is what we're going to do with the kitchen. It's going to be this size. So come out to here. All right. Oh, it doesn't let us build that right now. Okay, that's fine. We'll just build this out. This is going to be a massive kitchen. And we're going to need to move this 
uh, M for move. I always say that to myself. And that's the center line right along the center line. But yeah, obviously it's only uh, one. Okay, and then so these things are going to then move. Man, this restaurant's going to be maybe a little too big. Uh, but again, this is we're ta we're talking future proofing here, right? This this restaurant is going to be, uh, you know, absolutely massive, and it's going to have an absolutely massive team as well, all assigned to stay on their individual sides. Okay, so let's do something like that. I might it might even be a good idea to split these up so that each of them have their own. But we can we can play with that in a second here. So then let's delete these walls. Oh, this is a big, big, big overhaul, folks. But we might as well, right? Like, we're trying to get to a finished, happy, good-looking restaurant, so we might as well do it. Might as well do it. So we're going to turn these around like so, and we'll get these fridges here and kind of reorder all this in, you know, obviously a little later on. Okay. So then let's put this wall, build this wall back in. So this is our absolutely, this kitchen is way too big. <laughs> we could actually, but I mean like, look how big this restaurant is gonna be. This restaurant's gonna be massive for this size. Okay, but the other thing that might be nice is a break room. So let's build a wall here. How much money do we have? 4,700 doubloons. Let's go like that. And let's copy over a door or something like that. So I mean, again, that's actually gonna take up a, a lot of room if we do that. Um, so for now, let's, okay, let's not do, let's not worry about the break room for today. Uh, because I need to, like, re, I need to get this restaurant balanced and, and see how it feels, uh, before we do anything crazy like that. Okay, let's move this order window with an M over to the eventual spot. Now, it's a three, it's three wide, so that's all, you know, whatever, it's fine. Okay, then we'll move these, move this over here, move this over here. Move this door frame over to there. Maybe it's not, I gotta be a door frame now. Maybe it's time we move up in the world and we get ourselves a, uh, eh, where are my doors? Of course, of course. Back kitchen door, kitchen door. Here we go. Pow, get a kitchen door. And maybe we can figure out some other kitchen door placement uh, in a little bit as well. So that's good. Got a kitchen door here. Need to move these lights. Um, I think that's okay, like, a little bit of distance. One, two, there we go. Same thing. So there's this, two. Okay, that feels good. So we'll copy a bunch of those. We'll get that done. Let's uh, bring this and move that over there. And let's knock this wall down. Oh my goodness. I have, I have, I have bit off a lot. <laughs> I'm realizing. I have 4,700 doubloons left though, because I am making money on some of these sales of walls. So that's good to know. Uh, this is the center point, and I don't want to forget about that. So I'm going to go center point here, and we're going to delete these two walls. We're getting full refunds right now because we haven't unpaused the game. So we got to remember to, to not do that. Now, what's going to be the best way? I'm going to need to put this entrance here for now, and then we will expand, you know, later on. So let's go entrance here. Something like this, I guess. I don't know. I, we don't know what we're doing just yet. 4,600 doubloons left. Keeping an eye on that because we're going to want to, like, make this fancy. And the other thing, too, with, with a restaurant this size, one of the big and important things that's to do is going to be um, making it feel intimate still. Like, that's going to be the big challenge with this massive restaurant. It's going to be how do we make it feel like they're still in a nice, intimate little place. Paint floor, eyedropper tool. That painted and that painted. That costs 70 to glue, so we're now we're getting into the spend. Got to be careful. Don't get a little too carried away, but we do need to co cover all that. So this keeps our washroom, and we could actually move this to here. To there. Wait, hang on. We can't right now. Okay, let's delete those. We get a little bit of money. I love it. Whoops. Delete that. And then uh, build a wall here. And then move all this stuff. We actually only need to move like one. We'll move that light over here for now. We'll move that mirror. And then we're going to uh, duplicate that. And duplicate. Oops. Uh, duplicate this. Does that make sense? I mean, we. 
here's the thing. I know I'm going to move this eventually, so I'm not, like, overly bothered about making this good, but at the same time, we might as well... Like, we might be here for a bit saving up cash, so we might as well do this like so. Move that out. Oh, no, wait. We can put that on this. Move that window here. There we go. I love that you can just grab and move a window. You know, that's that's... That's real construction right there. That's what construction's actually like, I think. You just grab stuff and move it. Can I eye drop this wall? Kinda. Whoops. Nope. Build wall. Okay, and we gotta build this wall here. Eye drop. Uh, so I drop that. Uh, I mean, I could have left it as that nice red brick, but this is okay for now. And I guess we're making all these. We're doing it all. <laughs> okay. Uh, so duplicate this. Duplicate that. I drop. I tell you, you know you're flying when a game offers you this many like little design tweaks. It's not a terrible looking bathroom. It's all it's cramped, and I'd love to make a nicer bathroom, but we will do that later. Now I am seeing, yeah, the problem with my design here is if I wanted the bathrooms here, well, you know what I could do. We could have a privacy wall here. In the, this is the future restaurant, not right now. We have the privacy wall here. The bathrooms could be down in these areas. Although it's nice to have lots of windows along the corner. We could have bathrooms on either side, maybe. Perhaps. Or bathrooms here. Yeah, we could have bathrooms here along this area. And that would create more options uh, for privacy. We'll get to that later. Right now, the only thing that matters is making these folks happy. And uh, give them a good restaurant to work with. So let's move some trees around here for their break. So the ambiance is really nice this spot. What's that ambiance like? Yeah, it's a little bit green. That'll be good enough. We could probably put some tables out here too, I think, just for fun. Now, let's just copy the brick for now. I think we're going to want to look at a nicer uh, exterior, but just to get it up and running, let's do something like that. This restaurant definitely has had a huge, huge uh, improvement just now. Now, is it is it in our final form? No, but we only have 3,800-ish doubloons left, so we got to be Quite, uh, nope. Eyedropper that. Thank you. We gotta be quite clever about our next moves here. So we're just gonna kind of copy and get everything sort of samey, right? Now that's not perfect, but it is, uh, you know, it's gonna help us uh, get set up for success in the long run here. So we can start doing some design work. Hopefully this episode. Okay, there we go. All right. So, really quickly, let's take a look at what we've done. We've moved everything in our restaurant over to here. Things have gotten a lot spicier. Um, I almost want that fridge broken up. Let's put this, like, there. Bring that fridge over here. There we go. So things have gotten a lot spicier. There's a massive amount of room. But again, remember that with a column of cookery down the center, too, this area is going to get very packed uh, as we attempt to serve all of these people. So it looks like we could do another set of doubling here then double that entire thing over again one more time. But I'm not going to do that yet. We're going to slowly add tables and staff as we uh, well, as we get staff that can do well. Um, let's do this one here. There we go. So what's my ambiance like? Still nice and solid green there. That's good. Let's actually move this guy over here. Yeah, look at that ambiance that comes out of that. Okay, let's go ahead and duplicate... This one and this one. Okay, and that's going to be enough for today. We're at 2,900 to gloom, so we can put some decorations in. But the main thing I want to do is... And when I say enough for today, I don't mean, like, we're done. But I just mean I'm going to want to see how the team manages this. Because there's also going to be the issue of getting food from here all the way over there. So that could be a problem, too. And we also need to change all these... Uh, the. I think we might even just need to reassign all of the, the uh, cleaning areas. Okay, so it's Christmas times. It's uh, it, we're, we're getting close to it. It's December. So I think we might as well have some, like, a wreath there. Perhaps some Xmas lights. Can we just string them along? Oh, I wish you could string them over top of things, like windows and whatnot. That's all right. We're going to go like... Oh, this is great. This is great. Right? Come on, that's awesome. Okay. And then we're gonna go along here. Gilly, you don't wanna put it over the door? Why wouldn't you let me do that? Okay. So that's gonna bring up the ambiance in that area. I think that's quite cute. 
We'll get some wreaths on here, but we're gonna have to remember to like take these down after December. Like if we're still doing this uh, restaurant in like March. Duplicate, we'll put a, let's put like, like a double window there. I know there are double windows, but like we're just doing this for now. And we could put a little, we could put some booths in here, like a, uh, you know, little small amounts of tables. We could actually get a full four top in there, but we're not going to right now. We have to see how this is managed. So this is not an ideal shape, but this is the proto, like the, the next step is going to be our completed restaurant. 2100 doubloons left. The ambiance is looking pretty good in here. Is there anything, like what are the Christmas stuff? I think they added more Christmassy items. Uh, for us. Oh, there it is. Yeah, this is what I want. The fireplace. Are you kidding me? A little fireplace right here? I think you walk by it. I think you walk by... Hang on. We gotta move that. I think you walk by the fireplace. Yeah, let's move that. Put that there. I mean, that's... Um, I can't wait to use that properly, but for right now, that's a good spot for it. And then there was a Christmas tree as well, so we got the Xmas tree in here. Remember Futurama? Merry Xmas. Okay. So that's kind of in the wall there. Oh, wait. Get out of, get out of here. I want to look at the... I want to look at street level. Look at that. Ooh, that's magical. Okay, that's amazing. Let's get that copied over there. There we go. Okay. Folks, I feel like... Turn off the ambience here. I feel like we have a very big restaurant to manage here. Uh, we need to open it so that we can change the, um, yeah, create the save game. Good idea. So that we can uh, create the cleaning areas. So, what was the, it seems to have separated cleaning areas a little bit. Just caused a little chaos. Oh, no, it hasn't really. No, it's the exact same. So, this was the bathroom. This was the bathroom and this was the hallway. So, we're going to actually do, we're just going to go into this. And we're going to delete this cleaning area. And, uh, hang on. And then click this one and expand it there. And then we're going to click this one and expand it out. Oh, we got to delete this one first, I think. Yeah, delete that one. And what was this? This was, the, oh, this was an outdoor. These were some outdoor areas. Okay, crap. Okay, we'll try to remember who that was. Mustache guy. <laughs> I can't remember names right now. Let's expand this one. To like here, I guess. Then we need, yeah, we need a new zone here. And that's mustache guy. Charles Foster. Yes, now I remember. Now I remember Charles. And then this area here. It's also going to be Charles. There we are. Oh, we also need to go into buy mode. And move this to over here. Okay, now let's see. If I go into build mode, will that tell me... Okay, yeah. So I'd like to change how that lineup works, but we'll we'll work on that later. Um, so far, so good. We've got it all Christmassy. And there's smoke rise. I wish we could put the roof on, but like, could you imagine just putting so many fireplaces down? We might. We very well might put a bunch of fireplaces down. But we've got people coming in. Victoria has two more full four tops, and we've turned this three top into a four top that she is now in charge of. Uh, we need a cleaning area for back here. I forgot about that. Oof, that's spicy. We're going to need a massive gleam team. So Logan's on that. Logan's on the bathrooms. He does bathrooms, this floor, and that, and the kitchen. So yeah, we're going to need more staff right away, I'm thinking. And we still do have 1,600 doubloons. So I think that's good money to have in case things turn a bit on us. Currently, a lot of cleaning left to do. But we are going to probably get our uh, tier 2 award like pretty soon. As soon as, we, as soon as a rush hour happens and we seed all these people. This area, I like the decorations they have here. Maybe we'll put some trees in there, but I think, you know, it's honestly, at the end of the day, it's all gonna change. Oh man, getting ready for the holidays. I mean, it's early December and already I'm kind of like, oh, I love this. I don't know what it is. I don't like, I'm, I think of myself as like a pretty typical dude, dude bro guy. <laughs> but when it comes to Christmas, I'm like, oh, come on. Give me all the magic and the sugar and the, and the uh, kids running around, you know? Can't wait for that. Okay, that's looking good. All right, so far we're down $76, but that's okay. We just got people in. It's feeling calm. The first dish of the day is already out. And Olivia is... Uh, where is she? I mean, Victoria, not Olivia, is on break. Okay. Okay, right away, I, you know what I'm going to do? This break thing actually needs to be down here. 
That would be, it's, that's crazy to have the break thing over there. Cause like there's nothing over there. So we're gonna need to think about this break area. Okay, good cooking is happening so far. She runs the thing. Oh man, she was on break like all morning. She's a lot of orders that she needs to put in. All these people are waiting. What are they waiting for? Customer, oh, they're eating. Wait, are they eating? That make no sense. There's no way we delivered all those dishes already. <laughs> Maybe I wasn't paying attention. All I know is that this could be a little more uh, properly oriented. But so far, see, things seem to be going okay. Victoria is delivering that dish to this table with fairly low patience, but that's okay. Because that's still plenty to get your food delivered. Okay, we got a couple of... There's only... It looks like there's only one person waiting for something being cooked. Yeah, these customers are all... Yeah, these, these folks are all waiting. So we need another server, like, you know, basically right now. What do we have? Any options here? Melanie Washington is, de you know, decent at charisma, but uh, her serving would need to be, some, you know, trained up. She is a possible fry cook slash and or another cleaner. But we could definitely train her up on, on the fryer slash the stove. That would be good. I just don't know if we can afford these this many staff yet. Serving three and a workaholic. Oh, I love it. Uh, really bad charisma, though. That's going to cause problems. But she's a good cleaner, so we can put her on cleaning. Well, let's hire her, Melissa Soto. Welcome to the front of house. I think it's also, I think it's, um, I think it's uniform time. Okay, let's divvy up these sections. Let's give Soho, what's her name? Melissa, this group back here. Um, Melissa. And then the other thing that we need to do is probably give get some seconds on there because I, I I know that it's better if they have the lone wolf trait and it makes them move faster but she doesn't have one and Melissa's brand new so if we avoid the lone wolf trait it won't hurt to have seconds on all these tables so that when people are on break they're, they're getting served uh, more effectively okay Victoria is now back down to even less tables than she used to have let's get Melissa on the clean team here for that and maybe for this, and then maybe let's remove Logan from that. There, so all Logan has to think about is the kitchen and the bathroom so far. Oh, there's our lineup. That's what I'm talking about. We still have a lineup even though we have all these tables. Surely that's given us... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we have eight. Okay, so we need two more tables. What do you say? Let's give... Let's copy this booth over and give Melissa another booth. Right next to that, are you kidding me? Right next to the fireplace? Look at that. All right. This is now a Melissa booth with uh, Victoria as a third. Let's do a third. And let's put you on as a third here. I don't know what the third really does though, necessarily. Uh, as far as like, will that keep it low in her priority list until it's absolutely an emergency? Maybe. So that gives just a bit more coverage there. Okay, serving is waiting. Yeah, a lot of dishes are actually up, but not being served. So we do need that. I've got to say, so far, the only thing not keeping up with everything uh, is looking like the cleaners. They're the, they're, you know, they're the team that we're the least, uh, you know, good on right now. But this is looking pretty good uh, for our next step restaurant. And we are still, we're back in the green. I saw that we were like minus 300 a second ago. Um, probably ingredients and things. Uh, but I think things are working fairly smoothly in here. My goodness, I really thought that was going to be chaos when we did that. We got to just keep adding more tables maybe and see what <laughs> see what happens. We could add a little, like, cute little table here. Let's go into build mode. Duplicate this. But then let's take away... Oh, we can't. Well, that's not fair. I wanted to take away that chair and then move it right up against the window there, but... I guess that's the whole four top being served. Okay, fine. And that's got Victoria. No, let's put Melissa as the primary, and Victoria can uh, follow up with it. Trophy seated tables increased to two. There we are. We get a new trophy. So let's make sure we place that trophy. Where is it here? The trip instructor. Trip instructor. I like that. Trip instructor's award. I can't wait to find, like, for look for, like, really proper places to put these. Could put it out here. Let's just put it here for now. 
But yeah, we have not, like, honestly, this has not gotten into its final form yet. That's what we're, we're not even at a completed restaurant just yet. This reminds me very much of the Moxies near my house where I was growing up many a year ago. And uh, we were, wait, ordering, okay, no, we're good on ingredients. Uh, and they were just prior to being reinvented, they were kind of like a family-ish looking, oh no, what's wrong with her? Oh no, Melissa. I, oh, what's wrong with you? I need a break. It's fun to, oh, is she going on a break now? Oh my goodness. I don't know why does she look so, uh, I mean, maybe she broke herself. Is she sick at all? This place is squeaky clean. She's on her break. Stats, workaholic, I don't know. Yeah, automatic go rest threshold. Let's like boost that to 50, I guess, I don't know. I just don't want a workaholic to like have a breaking point. Okay, she's back now, she's got her speed back. Uh, we're seeing a little bit, of, what's this t customer here? Oh, they were waiting outside. Okay, so that's fine. So overall, the patience is still maintaining fairly well, aside from being able to seat people, and the cleanliness is a major problem. But as I was saying, one of the things that this reminds me of is like a family-friendly looking restaurant right before, like I said, Moxie's, right before it was reinvented into like a nightclub for cool adults. I think you love cleaning, so Melanie, we're gonna, we're gonna move you into fry cooking and stovery later on, but right now, Melanie, you gotta go to the Gleam team. We gotta get more people on the Gleam team here, and I think your job is only gonna be, uh, wait, the cleaning area is just Victoria and, okay, no, no, that's terrible. The new Gleam team is just Melanie here. Just, oh, Melanie has one thing to do and one thing only, and it's just cleaning. The other servers, we just need you serving, because I think I see some folks, like, waiting to be treated. Um, we st that still might not be enough cleaners. My goodness. Okay, we'll put Melissa on as a third. Or maybe, okay, wait, what's Charles up to? Like, what is Charles cleaning? He's cleaning this front area, and what else, Charles? These two areas. Wait, that's it? Oh, Charles. What a waste of your talents. Okay, there we go. All right, less cleaning for the servers to do, although we still do have somebody, uh, we still have um, somebody, on, that was somebody, a customer. I didn't mean to click on them while they were going to the bathroom. We do have uh, Melanie, Melissa, cleaning the bathroom, so, so that's good. So the next step in the moxiesification, that the the changing of branding, is the uniforms are going to change up. Now I know they would do a total overhaul of the restaurant first, but I just have too many staff now. I want to be able to see what we're doing. So let's get into our uniform editor here. All right, so this is going to be the front folk. All right, saving this. This is the created uniform of the front folk. Now this, actually, I, you know what? You know what? It doesn't look, it doesn't look terrible. I'm gonna be honest with you, it doesn't look terrible. Torso wise, yeah, like I don't mind this uh, kind of a, excuse me, what are we doing? Why isn't that changing the color? I guess we have to like, I don't know, you'd think that would change the, Oh, I see. There's no buttons on this thing. Whatever this is, this cardigan. Uh, honestly, the cardigan is the cardigan is kind of nice. To, you know, to be completely honest. Um, let's put a bit of color in there. Go a little bit warm with it, maybe. No, I don't like that. But what if? Okay, let's see what our options are. Oh, look at this! Christmas jackets. <laughs> it's festive. It's festive, so we should do it. Um, I think it was like red, and then this part was white. Okay, it's festive, we're doing it. We'll change it in the new year. But for now, wait, what color is this? What color is that? Okay, control C. Uh, control, come on. Oh, highlighting is so weird sometimes. There we go, okay. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, haha. <laughs> Do we have any festive aprons? No, okay, we're gonna keep it like this though. This is great, this is, this is delightful. This is absolutely delightful. Hats. I assume there's a Christmas hat in there. Come on. Oh, that's kind of like a, yeah, I guess that's the Christmas hat. It's a, it's a very uh, peculiar, peculiar angle. Normally, I think that uh, is in the middle. Uh, but hey, who am I to complain? I'm not, you know, wh what do I look like? The guy that knows that kind of stuff? All right, so that's red. And then I believe this would be white. Or would this be uh, green even? Is that kind of, that's like a pop of color? I think traditionally that was supposed to be white, but I think that's kind of fun. Transfer the colors? Yes, very good. 
The ladies just have cool... Oh, you know what? I don't hate it. I don't hate the ladies having like a cool winter vibe going on. I don't hate it one bit. I'm keeping it. Save. So that is... This is the front folk. All right, so you folks are going to be... Edit group. Front folk. Save group. <laughs> yes. Now the back of house, you know, we can be pretty... You know, okay, let's... Uh, new uniform. We're going to call this the... Um... um the uh, 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 il cuoco, Italian for the cook. Wait, what would uh, I can't remember? Le cuochi, maybe? Somebody tell me if that's good Italian. I gotta look it up later. The cooks, the various cooks. Now let's let's get real here with these guys. All right, they, maybe they have the red hats though. Kind of like the red hats. Okay, uh, Christmas jacket. No, they're gonna have French jackets. Yeah, it's time to get real. Okay? No more fooling around. That kind of color is kind of nice. And then, like, uh, maybe, uh, yeah, like a golden button like that. It's a little bit much. They look like bellhops if we do that. So let's go, like, black, white buttons, maybe? I, don't know, I can't tell if I want to do. It's weird that it's changing the cuffs. I guess they're linked in some way. Go white, I guess. Christmas trousers, jeans, shorts, slacks. Slacks, and let's copy this kind of nice slate gray over here. There we are. And let's give them a nice apron. Very good. Transfer the colors over to the females. Same th situation. We need them in that f nice French whatever, which I believe is that dress shirt. Dress shirt. Oh, do they not have the same, whatever it's called? What's it called for these guys? French jacket. That's what I want. French vest. French jacket. There it is. Found it. Found it. Found it. Found it. Found it. Legs. Straight legs. Yoga pants. Christmas trousers. Flares. Shorts. Flares. Cool. Kind of makes me think we got to do like a flare. You know, we have to do a different style of restaurant next. I think if you guys like this channel, still, if you like this channel, if you if you're still watching, like maybe what we'll do is a um, what we could do is sort of a. Uh, uh, like a, a diner style or something like that, like an 80s diner. Okay, yeah, Le Cuoqui. Le Cuoqui? Look like this. Save. Very good. Front folk, Le Cuoqui. Okay, and now what are the what's the gleam, gleam teams? Uh, the uh, Time to Leaners. That's the name of this uniform. How do we feel about this uniform? I don't know. Let's go with a hairnet of some kind, maybe? Do they have a hairnet? Beanie looks kind of cool. Maybe, honestly, they just need to be like no hat. Uh, probably no apron. That apron's not bad, though. Uh, we don't want them to be too... Like, the polo shirt is a little bit... Uh, it's a little bit, like, sad. Like, I don't want them to be feeling like they're low class. They are very important. We could dress them up like elves. <laughs> Let's go with, like, a light blue, maybe. What does that look like? It's, they're definitely going to stand out. I will say that. I'll be able to spot a cleaner. Um, oh, I kind of like that blue. There we go. We'll go with that. Dress shirt. Like that. Straight leg is actually... We'll just go like black pants there. That feels good. That feels good. Transfer those colors over to this person. The males. No hat, please. There we are. There's our cleaner. Oh, no, wait. This is a French jacket. So let's go dress shirt. Uh, shirt tie... Do they have to wear ties? It looks nice. I like it. It looks nice. They got to wear ties. I'm oh, sorry. So it's not updating the look, but hopefully that doesn't... That seemed weird. Okay, all right. Let's edit the back of house people. Le Cuoqui. Save group. Yes, this is great. Okay, the Gleam team doesn't look like... Okay, hopefully that... You know what I mean? Ties. Save group. Oh, perfect. It did work. Okay, there we go. So we now have... A properly organized looking staff. You can see our servers who are being sort of, you know, kind of in the moment, in the in the in the spirit of the of the season, looking kind of nice. Victoria is maybe idling. Are you idling right now, Victoria? Because you have nothing to do, or yeah, I guess you're just waiting for a dish. Okay, fine. Victoria, if you've got time to lean, you can sweep that hallway. There we go. But I put that on a third, so hopefully that keeps the 
uh, priority low for her. Man, honestly, I think we need so many more um, cleaners. Oh, I see. We're at the end of the day. That's why. 2,100 hours, and we have made it through this day quite nicely. We didn't really lose much money. Oh, no. We have a failure here. Those people and these people are going to walk out. That's going to be bad. Why didn't that happen at all today except until now? Spicy teas. Something's gone wrong with our design. Oh, boy. Oh, I do not know what's going on there. Okay, they're being served. Yeah, they're gonna walk out basically right now. There's no way they got, yeah, customer group left. So what's going on, why, 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 why at the end of the night did we fall apart here? What happened? Are we, have we finally gotten to the place where we are, where we have not enough cooks? That could be the case. Yeah, that's just, uh, they just had their food delivered too. That's a bummer. Well, the place is clean. And our cooks are being chastised in the back for their lack of, of, of uh, speed when creating those meals. And the last customer, this beautiful, this cute little date here is served. Okay. Again, kind of low on the patience there. Not sure what happened, but at the end of the day, things went really bad for them. Maybe it was the because they had to go put on their new uniforms? I don't know. But man, would I ever love to make a restaurant with this, like, this cute glow of this uh, chimney of this, uh, you know, this range here. Uh, we're missing some floor. I don't know. Did that slow them down? I doubt it. But there, that's better. And the last customers. It's nice to have this last customer, this group of, of folks having a date because it gave us more time to clean. So now we have this whole hour where I've paid them and they're going to do just final uh, touch-ups. And now we're coming to a restaurant that is in very good shape tomorrow. So let's take a look at our stats. The thing is, we didn't hire any new cook staff or provide them with any new equipment. So it does make sense that they might start to fall behind a little bit here. I kind of want to go into build mode and sell that chair and then move that right up there. Oh, that's cute. You know what they need is a light. They're going to need a light over there. Let's go back into build mode and get them like a one of these kind of lights. Uh, something kind of cute. What about that one? That's like, it's so high up. That's kind of nice. Oh, very nice. Yeah, that's that's the right look. So it'll be nice to get this a little more symmetrical, but like I said, again, this is the Training Wheels restaurant. We're trying to get to that next level using this restaurant. So we made 2,300 doubloons this day. Yesterday, we only made, so we've increased our doubloonaries by like 200 bucks. So that's not great. We'll have to keep an eye on our next day here. Renovations cost 4,400, it wasn't even that much. Well, yeah, employees are very expensive now. In fact, they've really jumped up since yesterday. That's a huge increase since yesterday. I only hired like two new staff. Oh, but you know what? It's the um, hiring bonuses. Right, 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 right. Taking a look at my staff, we had very little idle time with most of them. Very few people are fully idle. And I don't mind people being idle for some time, at least so that they can you know, get lower their stress. The breakfast hash, the dish I added in the last episode, not doing so well, but it's, it's helping out. You know, it's helping out. Sweet ribs, spicy teas, bacon frenzy, yeah, all very popular dishes. Kind of making me want them right now, to be honest. We're sitting at 74%. We lost a lot from those people that we turned away. Uh, so that's not ideal because now, as we transition to the mid-game, I think we're going to find that uh, restaurants are going to be... Uh, it, it's going to be a lot harder to uh, keep people in the tables rather than all the people we used to be turning away. Now that we have a larger restaurant, we're going to want to figure that out. I would very much like to start... Uh, I think we can take this measurement wall away. Um, we know that this is now exactly dead center, so we'll just remember that. It'd be nice to get some tables outside as well. Um, I just don't think we have the staff for it yet. We just need to see what's going on here and what pieces of equipment we need to add. The restaurant is looking full. It's bumping. We've got people doing all sorts of stuff. This person's like cleaning the floor behind. Okay, I mean, come on, Charles. Be a little more discreet with your cleaning. Uh, but things are looking good, and the patience meters aren't getting too low. Like, it all seems like it's more or less being dealt with in time. We'll see with this one here. That's starting to get, like, into the meatier part of impatient. But, like, you know, once it hits 50%, I get worried. 
But if they aren't even assigned, like, let's take a look. Yeah, see, look, it's already up. And that's a whole four top able to be dealt with. I think that the stagger is enough to keep up with right now, so I'm not too, too worried here. We have a lot of people waiting outside still, so that's a good sign. We even need more tables. Can we serve more tables? I just don't know yet. Um, oh, well, we do have a level up that we can do here, so let's take a look. Melissa Soto is probably in front of house, so if we go stress tolerant, that would probably be best for us. It's amazing that this hasn't started a fire yet. That would tend to start a fire. Let's take a look at our staff, because I'd like to cook more food, maybe. So we have Peter Freeman, who seems pretty decent, and he's a carnivore. He loves cleaning, which is kind of cool. I guess we could make him a cleaner. Great fry cook. And then we have Vanessa Payne, who is a, g a genius. So she'll level up faster. She hates the grill, though. But here's the thing. If she levels up faster, we could probably get, like, a remove hated action and get her onto the grill. However, we do have a stove and fry genius here. Three and three. That'll get up soon and because she's a genius. And she's a carnivore. I think we gotta hire, we're gonna hire Vanessa. And she's in the uh, back of house. And I'm just gonna honestly like, let's take a look at Vanessa. What can she do? Vanessa, fryer, stove. Great, so here's what we're gonna do. Stove, duplicate it, right? We're gonna start the other side of the restaurant here. Boom, and duplicate it, fryer. Play again. Now, I wish they could get closer together. If this was Crossroads in, I'd hold control and I'd push these together. Uh, but, you know, it's not. So then we're going to put Vanessa on here. She's got her own machinery to work. I don't think it makes sense to put people on more than one of the same material, the same thing. Uh, if, if you're divvying up the work, then maybe that's a thing uh, where it's like, Okay, we need, uh, you know, you you need we need a lot of people working along a few only a few pieces of appliance, uh, but we don't have that problem right now. And I'm th it just made me think like that could actually be a pretty good challenge um, that the game developers could do. Right, calculate what is the bare minimum amount of staff you need, and then make that uh, to serve the maximum amount of people. Right. So the game, the challenge of the game would be, can you serve seat? Uh, 50 guests at the same time and have nobody walk out and only do it with eight staff or something like that. You know what I mean? I don't know if that number, that number even seems a little crazy. Vanessa now has begun the other side of our restaurant. Uh, and I am excited to see it working. She's already, she's been given a job right away and immediately sets about going to the front. Wait, excuse me. Vito, that is not your fryer. A customer group left. Ah, uh, it was this group. They were waiting in line. Okay, that's fine. So it wasn't a group that got impatient. However, we do have this one. Oh, good. Served. 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 Oh, I love it. Okay, I thought that was going to be a problem for a bit there. But I mean, just look at this place. It's bumping. I can't wait until we get a little bit more uh, of a design in here. Uh, and that might be, you know, that might just come down to the next episode. The next episode, we'll, we might have enough money by then. Although we've spent a lot. I wasn't paying attention, but I think we have enough that we can uh, see out the rest of the night here and make our profit. Vanessa hard at work going all the way to that fridge, but that's okay. I guess they, they just pick the fridge they go to. So I think what that means is if I set another, if I put in another set of uh, appliances, I can fill these in. Then I might need a hallway here to put in another set of appliances. Or I can split these up into two chunks uh, and still get like three, maybe four more cooks back here. Uh, on all those appliances and then have a little less kitchen space. I can shrink this a bit, which will give me more room for a nice big patio out here, which is kind of my dream. Okay, well, overall, this is looking very good. I think it went very well. Remains to be seen how the rest of the day went. Yeah, we're back in the green already, even after buying all those appliances and hiring Vanessa. Things are seeming to... Yeah, the cleanliness. We're staying on top of the cleanliness. We could use another clean uh, sweeper in the back. We've got to level up Melanie here, part of the clean team. Let's give her the doesn't slow down when tired. Because um, I know I think she's the workaholic. No, no, Melissa's the workaholic. So we definitely want her to uh, take breaks more often or but also get her that Iron Man stat. So that she doesn't wait till she's totally broken to take a break. Very good. Can't wait to get that break room a little nicer. Actually, the break room could have some of the Christmas stuff in it, too. That would be quite nice. Okay, speeding things up here. It looks like... Okay, what's the problem here? We've got... 
Victoria. We're just going to get... Okay, there we go. Okay, so that was not great, but she's on it. She got it in the last second there. It always seems... You know what? Actually, that makes sense. Because I believe at night, everybody does slow down. Um, because there are some buffs you can get where it's like they don't slow down at night. And I might need to get some of those for our cooks. Because there's another table that's about to walk out and lower our stats for the rest of the day. Only w Oh, they only have one dish left. This could still come in under the wire. Okay, ding, it's up. Are they being served? Yes. Ooh. Come on, finish the serving. Finish telling them about their dish. And there we are, right under the wire. Okay. I'd say we set this restaurant up for success, and it was all thanks to your tips, your comments. Uh, uh, absolutely. Um, th and keep, keep them coming, I gotta say. But also, it was thanks to the work that we did setting ourselves up for success in that earlier stage with that smaller restaurant. So there we have it, another absolutely successful evening. Just about to come to a conclusion here with these two hopefully enjoying their meal. Oh, the four of them, okay. Oh, that's our last, those are our last customers, I think. Oh no, we have one lady here who's uh, waiting for her dates to come back, I guess. Yeah, one of them, one of her dates. Come back. So let's see, did they like their meals? Ooh, a couple of five stars, not bad, but somebody did give me a bad one as well. Matt, lax dishes I like, I had to wait a long time before I was served. Yep, that's, that's all fair, that's fair. We will solve that eventually. And did you folks like your meal? Yes, they did. Fairly well, a three star. That's not, not great, but not terrible. Well, there you have it. Another excellent day in the journey of Recipe for Disaster. A little bit Christmassy, which I quite like. We're gonna keep expanding that. And I think we'll just let it run for a couple more days here. And we will be back shortly with um, uh, the expansion to this side of the restaurant, probably. Uh, maybe even some of the bigger... We could probably just do a bigger build. So the next episode will probably be a pretty big build video. Uh, and then we'll uh, see how it runs as we slowly expand the service. Maybe we should just do this side. We'll just get this side finished and then we'll copy it over to this side just to make sure that we're not doing anything uh, a little bit stupid and setting ourselves up for failure here. But hopefully you found that to be some truly solid content. I know I did. I very much enjoy this restaurant. It's coming together really nicely. Look at the size of it now. And we will see you all in the next episode of Recipe for Disaster. <laughs>